Okay, we're going to go over the Adobe Configurator 1.0 application here. Um, you can get this application at labs.adobe.com. It's free for download right now. Uh, you just have to have an Adobe membership. Uh, it's free to fill out, and then uh, you can download this application and play with it. What it does is allow you to create your own custom design panels for use in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, you can uh, pretty much build anything you want uh, and have it appear right there in Photoshop. There's a bunch of things you can do with it. Uh, some of the more advanced things here um, that you can do are uh, add widgets, which um, one of the most advanced I think you could do is uh, create your own custom Swift and then embed that into Photoshop in uh, its own panel and have it uh, control Photoshop actually do almost anything you can script up in Photoshop and you can do that through patch panel which is also available on uh, a labs adobe.com you can even embed movies and uh, different search widgets to search out features of Photoshop so um, then you can also add actions and stuff but we'll go into that later um, for right now we're gonna really uh, concentrate on these tools and these commands uh, in the accordion drop-down. So let's go ahead and create a new panel. We'll go ahead and do that by clicking on this button here, or we can also do it uh, from the drop-down, file drop-down, uh, new, or we can hit the uh, command keys, the keyboard shortcut, uh, command N, and that will create you a new one also. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And what that does is bring up a can canvas uh, uh, untitled canvas and a 220 by 220 panel ready for us to fill in. So we'll go ahead and name this canvas and uh, this panel and we'll call it my test panel. And we'll leave it at the 220 by 220 size. And we'll go ahead and open up our tools palette. Now you might notice along the top here that we have some alignment uh, buttons that we can go ahead and align some of the tools that we drag down so we can keep them all nice and aligned up and looking good. So here uh, we'll go ahead and drop down, we'll select the tool, and these are pretty frequent uh, tools that you'll use, you know, but sometimes you have to hunt to go get them, and here they are, uh, you know, and you if you use them a lot, you can just create your own panel and, and have the ones you want when, when you want to play with them. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and just drag a few down, just to give you an idea real quick. Maybe even grab this one here. Okay, we'll go ahead and make sure that they're all perfect. And then we'll go ahead and grab some commands here. And uh, we'll drag that down. Go grab some uh, layer commands. And these basically you'll find out uh, if you look at the uh, uh, menu at the top, the application menu of Photoshop, this basically just like this application menu up here for Adobe Configurator, it uh, mimics what Photoshop does. So we have file, and inside of the file menu, we have new, open, open is smart object. So it's the same commands that you find in Photoshop. It's just now we can create a button, a one-click button, and not have to go up to the file menu anymore. And then there's a bunch that are uh, really hidden, and they don't have any key commands, so you can just basically go ahead and uh, you know have a button that does this for you. So let's go to the layers. I'm going to go uh, new group from layers, drag that down. We're going to go ahead and lock all layers and uh, link and unlink layers. And uh, we could select the link layers. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, create and uh, do a clipping path. So we have a bunch of items, and we'll go ahead and align those up again and space those out nicely. So here we have a nice little tab, that custom tab that we created. And uh, so there we have it, uh, my test panel, ready to go at 220 by 220. We'll go ahead and uh, 
export that out. And what that does is uh, it goes to the Panels Plugins folder, Adobe Photoshop Plugins folder, and in the Panels uh, folder, it will uh, write out all the things that it needs to uh, bring up this panel. So here we go. We'll just select that. It's going to ask us. I'm going to overwrite the one I did earlier, and voila, we have success. We'll hit OK. Now we'll go take a look at that in Photoshop. Okay, here we are now in Photoshop, and we have a sample uh, picture open. Uh, it's a sample you can get in the samples folder of the Adobe Photoshop folder. It's called smartobjects.psd. And uh, what we're going to do now is we go up to Window, and we're going to have a take a look at uh, take a look at our my test panel. So here it is in the extensions my test panel, and we open that up, and here it is. It pops up. Here's the all the tools that we drag down, and they have the rollovers and everything. We didn't have to program any of this, so all of this is done for us. So now let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have our selector panel. We can go open up our layers, pick a layer, and go ahead and drag it around just like the one up top there and so that did its job we could sample the colors and do some gradients draw a rectangle and uh, you know everything that uh, we need to do we'll go ahead and uh, delete that so let's go ahead and uh, play with some layers now so we can go ahead and uh, select all these layers click this button and create a new group from layers with just one click of a button we didn't have to go uh, play around with anything or go hunt for that or right click or try to find where that would be in the menus here and uh, so then we could go ahead and uh, link these layers real quick or unlink them real quick which is real nice we could lock them go ahead and go okay we want to lock all layers what do we want to lock everything go okay there we go and we could undo that so there's all kinds of uh, you know the clipping paths and um, we could uh, clip uh, and release the clipping path but um, so anything that we want to make and customize I'll go over some more advanced features later but right here without any programming whatsoever we can make our own custom panels to make our life easier in Photoshop I say way to go Adobe. Congratulations. So go play with it right now. Have some fun.